Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV. Now, um, Arsene Wenger has done his press conference today and I uh, was watching the press conference and um, I really seriously had to ask a question after watching that. Is, is Arsene Wenger kind of blaming the fans for the poor form that Arsenal have shown this season, particularly at home? Um, it was a strange press conference. I'm just going to read you a few of the quotes from it. Um... Quite obviously, the press that went there, they asked Arsene Wenger quite a few questions about the planned protest this week um, at the, the Norwich game, which is going to take place now. If you don't know about that, um, I'm sure you all know about it, but let me just uh, run it down. There's going to be a protest at the game on Saturday, um, basically under the theme of Time for a Change, the Black Scarf Movement, Red Action, the AST, three massive fan groups, are all behind this, united on it, um, and they, were, they haven't always been united on everything that's gone down, but all three of them are completely united on this, and basically the theme of the protest is time for a change. Some of them think that change should be Arsene Wenger, he should go. Some of them think that change should be Kronke and the board, they should go. Some of them just have an attitude that when I say time for a change, something has to change. A change in attitude, a change in the way we buy players, a change in the way the fans are treated. It's really coming under a big umbrella and this is happening on Saturday at the Norwich game and um, various protests are planned there. And of course the press asked Arsene Wenger quite a lot of uh, questions on it. Also, you know, asking him about the, the league and how it's all gone wrong, etc. But some, some, some of the... Uh, the replies to these uh, question questions from Arsene Wenger didn't really impress me. I mean, um, when asked about the you know the, the the form and how the teams played so badly, he said we lost the championship at home against the lower teams, but we played at home in a very difficult climate. So is he blaming the fans there for saying that the atmosphere has been poisonous at home? Because we have been very poor at home normally. At home, we've been very strong and we've got the third best away record of any Premier League team. But at home, we've been really poor and that's basically where we have lost the league. Um, he said, he went on to say, uh, we have to realise that away from home, we are championship winners. At home against the smaller teams, we lost the league. This club does have special values though and one I've experienced over the years is we stick together and support the team. There's no success without that. Is so is he sort of suggesting that, you know, with all these protests and that, it's like fans not supporting the team and that's the reason why we've been so bad at home because there's been a really bad atmosphere, um, which, by the way, the club could help out with. I've always said fans are responsible for the atmosphere at home. Fans have to play their part, and I truly believe that. But the club also has a part to play as well in trying to help the atmosphere at home in general, although that's another video. But the club needs to do their part and they don't, basically, they don't really care about the atmosphere at home. They sink all of their efforts into the corporate stuff, if you ask me. Um, but as I said, that's another video. But what he's basically also saying there is because of like the bad vibes and bad atmosphere, it's gone through to the players and that's why they haven't performed. And... I see stuff like this and Arsene Wenger needs to show more empathy towards the Arsenal football fans. The fans that turn up week in, week out. The fans that go to all the away games. I see them every week. They are the most loyal fans in the Premier League. He's not showing no empathy towards them there. He's not coming out and saying, well, you know what, I understand their pain. I understand why fans would want to protest you know what, guys, I'm going to really make a big effort to, to put it right in my um, next season. We acknowledge that, you know, it's been really poor. All the stuff he's sort of coming out with here is almost like he's saying that, you know, just stick together. stick to Yeah, we're sticking together because we're still there at the games. But, you know, come on, you need to start taking some responsibility, more responsibility for what's gone on. I mean, I noticed that Gary Lineker, even in his um, on his Twitter account, Gary Lineker has uh, posted a tweet saying, is Wenger blaming the fans? 
We lost the championship at home against the lower teams, but we played at home in a very difficult climate. He put the quote there. Come on, Arsene Wenger. This is part of the problem with Arsenal Football Club, with Arsene Wenger, where I think, you know, he comes from an age where when he first came on the scene, there was no social media. They seem to always want to blame social media for criticism. Listen, social media exists and if social media is giving ordinary fans out there a voice, I applaud social media all day long. We've got a right to have a say in what goes on at our football club. It's our football club. When Arsene Wenger's gone, when Ozil's gone, when Sanchez is gone, when whoever's gone, we're still going to be there supporting the club through thick and thin. So if we're unhappy about stuff, we're going to voice it. You're going to hear more of it now because of social media. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. You know, don't get me wrong. There are some bad things about social media. You know, so the way some fans sometimes uh, are abusive and, you know, the way they, they, they get into certain agendas, I don't like. But listen, hey, this is a, we're in a country of free speech and I love that, right? And fans have a right to be angry this season because the performances have been poor. The performances have mirrored what's happened in many other seasons. Last five seasons after 33 games, basically, Arsenal are not competing to win the Premier League. And for a club as big as Arsenal, that is simply not good enough. So I don't think, or I think, Arsenal Wenger should be showing a bit more empathy towards the fans. Also, interestingly, he was being asked about Stan Kroenke, another guy who's coming under heavy, heavy pressure from the fans. Um, Arsene Wenger's quotes here, he says, I don't want to go into personal comment of the owners. He said, every club should work with the resources it generates and that is what we do no you don't no you don't because you don't spend the resources this is another reason why fans get angry that is not true Arsene Wenger you do not work with what what, what of the resources did we lose did we use um in the summer to buy players what did we use we didn't use the resources um and he said that is one of the values I speak about and that is what I speak about, um, he says uh, he has, um, Stan Kroenke is talking about, has never stopped me in the transfer market, is very ambitious, we all are, I'm sorry at the moment, the evidence is not there of that Arsene Wenger, that is why fans are upset, that is not a good answer to that question, not as far as I'm concerned, he was also asked about Jurgen Klopp and again, he, the sort of parallel he brought, he drew here, yes, you speak about Liverpool, it's a good example to follow because they're a big club and we are a very big club. I can understand the frustration of our fans, but despite that, you want to support your team and the best you can do is to give your support. But hold on, Arsene Wenger, if you remember, the Liverpool fans walked out on 75 minutes this season because they were appalled with the ticket prices right, that their board was charging them, and straight after that, the board had to lower the prices, so don't think Liverpool fans, you know, are just going to give their undying support when they feel that, you know, they're being treated badly as well. I'm sorry, these are not good responses by Arsene Wenger, they're not good responses at all, he goes on about sticking together, we have to stick together. I agree, we do have to stick together. I'll be behind the team tomorrow, but I also understand these protests. I think these protests are right. I really do. Arsene Wenger, you're not showing any empathy here towards the fans. He goes on to say that nobody's more frustrated than the players are and that he is. Maybe so. I'm sure they are frustrated. Obviously, they want to win. They want to win things. I mean, you know, he also goes on to say that um, you have to remember that when we built the stadium, uh, we had five to seven difficult financial years. We had to be three years in the Champions League and had to have a 54,000 average attendance. We had to sell our best players and survive. We didn't do, uh, and we didn't do three years out of five we did five years out of five during that time. It was very competitive. I think we all appreciate the fact. That's why fans of Arsenal Football Club have had so much patience because we do appreciate the fact that um, the whole stadium move and stuff like that. 
but we were promised with this stadium move that we're going to be able to compete. We're going to be like the the the, the British version of boss of of um, Bayern Munich, and that we definitely ain't right now. And that is why there's a lot of frustration from the fans. Just briefly on a couple of things, don't forget, <laughs> it's a landmark on Saturday. It's Arsene Wenger's 750th Premier League game. Um, so congratulations to him for that. Um, also on injury news, he said that Santi Cozzola is back in, in, in full training. And also Oxlade Chamberlain has returned to training as well. So that's good. Too little, too late. We've really missed Santi Cozzola. But I don't know. I think this is one of the problems with Arsenal and Arsene Wenger at the moment, that they just don't understand their fans. It's not just Arsenal. A lot of football clubs are like this. The best football clubs at the moment are the ones that do understand their fans. I really wonder when I see stuff like this from Arsene Wenger. This is why, as a, as a guy said the other day, he goes, it's almost like you've got an analogue manager in a digital age. And he just, he's old school, isn't he? He's like, you know, from an age where they didn't like fans questioning things and they didn't, you know, fans, you've never played the game. So, you know, what do you know? It's a different age now. And social media has brought that around. And I think social media has been a good thing in doing that. And I don't think that Arsene Wenger, the boards, the people at Arsenal... Behind the scenes, well, not all of them. I, I think there are some people who do grasp it, but there's some people there in high positions who don't grasp that. And this is the reason why some fans feel that they have to protest. It's a live game on TV, and they think this is the only way they can get their message across. And I must say, I agree with them. I agree with them. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. What do you think of Arsene Wenger's comments? Do you think he's just being... Realistic? Do you think he's just being saying what any other manager will, will say? Or do you think that he needs to be show a bit more empathy, that he needs to start understanding how Arsenal fans are feeling at the moment? Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. It's going to be a strange one tomorrow. Definitely going to be a strange one.